How would you like to know the CIA secret of getting out of speeding tickets? I'm going to tell you. How do I know this? Well, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer, and perhaps maybe in my youth, I had a lead foot and I got pulled over a lot. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. So I want to share with you again the CIA secret of getting out of speeding tickets. So in the government, in certain jobs, you might have a gas mask strapped to your leg. Maybe if you're going bad places and there's the threat of some, you know, chemical, uh, biological, whatever it might be. So you got that gas mask strapped to your leg. And in that gas mask, you've got two big needles. And I always screw this up, but I believe it was atropine, which we had. I'm sure all the doctors watching will tell me what it is. But we had these two bad needles. And if there was a chemical attack, you know, you pop on your gas mask and you're sticking these two big needles in your thigh or your butt area and you open your lip. Another thing is you always have, and I'm pulling out my license here, you always have a rad sticker. So see this little sticker here? This is called a rad sticker, stands for radiation detection sticker, right? Long story short, you'll have this somewhere if you're going into bad places. And if this thing starts changing color, you know you need to get out of there, right? Bad things are happening. You can get rad stickers online, just Google radiation detection sticker, whatever. So what does this have to do with getting out of speeding tickets? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. As I said, you're always carrying them now. And when you're in the government, you're not putting this on your driver's license because you're not having your true name and all that stuff anyway. But if you are a civilian like I am now, and maybe you have a lead foot, you get pulled over, how do you get out of speeding tickets? Well, you have a rad sticker on the back of your driver's license like I do right here. And when you get pulled over, what do you do? I'm gonna tell you. When you get pulled over, you hand the officer, actually, let me back up here. I'm gonna get to that. One of the questions I get asked most frequently is what do I do if I get pulled over and I have a gun on me? I live in the state of Utah. I live in a free state. I carry concealed every single day. I often have a six hour P365 in my front pocket. So I'm always carrying concealed. The only time I don't carry concealed is if I go to the post office, because you can't carry a gun in the post office. And I'm trying to think where else I go. Maybe if I went to a courthouse or whatever, or, you know, any place that's illegal. But other than that, I'm carrying concealed every single day. So if I get pulled over for speeding, First thing I'm gonna do is put my hands on the steering wheel. As soon as that officer comes up, I say politely, officer, just to let you know, I'm carrying concealed and I have my concealed firearms permit. What I do not say is, hey officer, I have a gun. Choose your words carefully. So hands up on the steering wheel, officer, just to let you know, I have my concealed firearms permit, I'm carrying concealed, you know, just something like that, quick and easy. I was born and raised in the Washington, D.C. area. I was born and raised in Northern Virginia, just a few miles outside of Washington, D.C. Very liberal place, especially these days it is. So when I got pulled over in Virginia, again, just across the D.C. line, they'd be like, oh my gosh, okay, let me call them back. You know, they the SWAT team in there. And they'd say, okay, slowly hand me your license, slowly do this and that. They'd act like it was a, you know, a big deal that I was carrying concealed. And everything was fine, because I always, you know, got out of it and all was well. When I moved to Utah, first time I got pulled over, I say to the officer, same thing. Hey officer, just to let you know, I'm carrying concealed, I'm a concealed firearms permit. He looks at me like I have three heads and he says, so? I said, well, officer, I just, you know, I just wanted to notify you and let you know. Okay, like that was it. He took my license, went back, everything was good to go. So obviously it depends on where you are, but have your hands on your wheel, obey the police. Obviously don't do anything stupid. It's gonna get you shot and just tell them, I got a firearm, I got a firearm permit. So back to, Getting out of tickets, right? The important thing at hand. When you get pulled over, if you're carrying concealed like I do, you're gonna hand them your concealed firearms permit, you're gonna hand them your license. Well, remember on the back of our license, we put that RAD sticker, the radiation detection sticker. They're gonna say, what in the heck is this on the back of your license? Well, it's funny you ask, officer. I'm a former CIA officer, and when you go in dangerous places, you know, you have this, that you have a radiation detection sticker, and it turns, you know, starts turning colors, you know, you're in danger, there's other measures you take yada 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 you tell them the whole story why does this work well the police and my first job out of college was a police officer the police are more conservative most police are not like crazy liberals most police are conservative they value self-reliance they love the fact that oh hey this guy you know is taking measures to protect his family to protect himself so part of my thing is you know again i'm a former sea officer we used to do this and i have this here you know it's just one of the many security measures i like to do to protect my family and keep it safe because you know, my family's safety and protection is very important. The police appreciate this because they know you're self-reliant. They know you're not some deadbeat they're always gonna have to rescue. So when I say that, maybe, maybe not, I get out of a speeding ticket. But I know you're watching, you're thinking, Jason, I'm not former CIA. How the heck does that apply to me? Easy, buy the rad sticker online. 
put it on the back of the license. When you get pulled over and they ask you, what is that thing on the back of your license? You're gonna say, well, it's funny officer. One guy I know or one guy I heard about, he's a former CI officer. He said, it's a good idea to put, uh, put this on the back of your license. You know, if it changes colors, that means you're in a bad place. And you know, I believe in preparedness. I believe in self-reliance. You know, I'm just trying to protect my family. And they will see that you are a conservative person who values your safety and survival. And obviously there's no guarantees, but maybe, just maybe, it might get you out of a speeding ticket. And even if it doesn't, in the crazy world that we live in, especially these days, with everything going on in Ukraine, with the Russians threatening you know, nuclear war and all that kind of stuff, you should have some type of radiation detection. The RAD sticker, RAD sticker excuse me, is the cheapest and easiest way to do that. If you wanna learn more spy tips, make sure you go to blackbookofspyseekers.com. At blackbookofspyseekers.com, I have a ton of spy tips that'll protect your family, keep you safer, and it's free. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, make sure you turn on that ring notification bell because I've got a lot more spy secrets that could save your life coming your way. God bless you, have an awesome day.